I am deaf and would like to apologize if I'm mispronouncing the Honorable Judge Ludig's name. It was moving to see him battling his emotions as he discussed his interpretation of um, a constitutional procedure that was established in the 19th century. Although I admit, I laughed a little bit at the thought of what it would come to if Donald Trump came up against me in his courtroom even now. There was a report, clearly erroneous, notorious fake news, that Donald Trump was more popular than Biden at this point. It's sort of an aggravating form of fake news where they ask you to weigh in psychologically against your fellow Americans because no fellow American could fail to see that the noose erected for Mike Pence was a noose erected for every patriot in the United States of America. Every American was being threatened to be hanged. That's Donald Trump's message. As much as is either you surrender to his form of arrogant, blusterous, dictatorship of the mind and the values of the United States or he will kill us all. So if Donald Trump is nominated for president, a rude, impossible idea. Clear the dugouts because there's no way that it, it can be considered tolerable. I would like to go into some of my personal experiences with this monster and his machine. A Putin-esque ordeal macabrely orchestrated while Ludig was under the suasion of Reagan, which will get me to my little chuckle in a moment. It was organized by Trump e Tunes puppet Robert Fripp of King Crimson a master of psychological disguises who comes clean at one point, his subservience to the mystics of Russia. And what they did was organize a push button play station, a fourth dimensional psychology. Oh, the man who said that Reagan must have known lisped and whimpered when he was told to shy off his girlfriend at the moment where she seemed to be panting to be taken even more than those who would like to put America in Mike Pence's noose. Therefore, virginity proves lust of the heart. And so to catheterize from the fourth dimension, will rape his deaf advocate, will rape Cersei Kennedy, will even slay her. And in our emotive detachment, we shall be all wow that these people of the fourth dimension have secured marine flag types to detach amusement, execute more Kennedys, to clear the air that queer baits mischief intoned in some way on the honorable mention of JFK, who we now call Rosa Kennedy, Rosa Hendricks, Rosa Roberto, and various other icons of mastery from the fourth dimension. This fourth dimensional plumbing goes on noxiously constantly. I said something uh, to um, Bagger News about um, telling Ming-Na Wen about Ryback's laps in showing me some books his mother kept from the federal government about nuclear evacuation. 
and Pat Buchanan put uh, something about finding a chink in Aid some Moor or Aid's armor. And he was personifying me as Aid's personified in this headline through the, you know, um, peasant army scripture that he was revealing as an intimate, because they were very, very lewdly poised for Wispensky and intimacy in this fourth dimensional plumbing operation, the evidence for which goes on and on, and they call it Operation Medicine Man. So when you see that noose, for whom that noose stands, it stands for you. They want to put America's honor in a noose for refusal to surrender to this new Adolf. And that's the bottom line, you know, and they have this slipknot situation where Luther will say all the more terrible would be for one to yield to the honesty, sincerity, evidence of queer bait. 